What's going on, everybody? Once again, it's your boy, Uptown Nick, back with another one. Hope everybody's enjoying their day today, just taking it easy. New York's looking a little better. It's almost time for the barber shops to open. I think we're about a couple days away, so finally getting back to some kind of normalcy. Hopefully, wherever you are, it's getting better wherever, hopefully, wherever you are, the normalcy is also returning. But on to bigger and better things, on to more entertaining things. Let's talk about what we got coming out. A couple things. A lot of fire lately, man. It's oh man, yo, Jordan brand, everybody, they they've been working and I don't know what we're gonna do with all this uh things we could buy here, but we got some heat. But let's start right off right into it. Alright, we're gonna start off with the Air Max 90 Worldwide Pack. Now I was talking about the Worldwide Pack. There's a couple of sneakers in there, I believe there's four. This one right here is the Air Max 90. Very nice shoe, all white. Not too many hits of things on it, except they went a little too crazy with the checks. They put like a lot of checks on it. Something like four or five checks all over the shoe. And they're smaller, but I don't think they really needed to do that with the branding. Mostly all white, hits of baby blue, a nice vault green on the bottom, so definitely something nice. And it's simple, it's subtle, it's good for the summer. I just don't like how they went a little crazy with the checks. But Air Max 90, worldwide, they should be coming out soon. They're going to be retail. I don't believe there will be a special box. So if you want to get those for the Air Max collection, be ready for the Air Max 90 worldwide. And continuing on with the Air Max 97 worldwide. Now, same pack as the Air Max 90s. Almost similar colors. Basically all white. Hits of that vault green and hits of a nice light, light blue. So nothing too crazy. Also here, they, they went a little heavy with the checks. They went a little heavy with the checks on it, not sure. I guess maybe Worldwide might be all Worldwide branding on it. So the branding's a little too, too much for me, but the colors are nice. Once again, a spring and summer type sneaker. So if you wanna get that for nicer weather, mostly white, you could definitely grab the Air Max 97 Worldwide. And those will be going for 170. Air Max 90 N7s. Now the N7 is a different kind of pack. I'm not sure what the N7 stands for. It has the branding on the front. I'm not sure if it's a certain type of material they're using on the shoe. Do like the colors though. I like the dark gray and the rest of the color schemes on it. So this one is looking nice. Looks a little exclusive and they're only going for 130. So another Air Max head, you wanna grab that. Air Max 90 N7s, they're going for 130. They should be coming out in the next couple weeks. And like I said, it's something subtle. Got the dark gray in there, um, hits of that, that green. So something nice for the Air Max heads. And those are definitely coming out soon. Now, continuing forward, another Air Max. That's why I said a lot of Air Max are coming. Air Max 95, uh, white and black. This is simple. Simple Air Max, just something straight for the summer. Mostly just an all white Air Max, little hits of black here and there. So it's nothing too crazy. Something subtle, something simple, something an easy grab. So if you want to grab those up, that's coming out June 19th for 180. And I'm a little surprised because I think that's what, $10 more than the regular Air Max? So I'm not sure why that one's 180, but it's 180 for the all white with the black check. So if you want to grab those up, grab those up June 19th. Now, mostly we've been talking about Air Max. Now this is the last one. Air Jordan Satin Skin. Now, these do look nice. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's satin. Now, with satin, it's a material not too durable. It can rip easy. It can tear easy. So, putting it on sneakers might not be a good idea because just walking around, if you brush up against something, that you're getting a rip, you're getting a tear, but that's what it is. I do like the color blocking. I like how they put the black on top and the red and an all blacked out logo. It, it does look nice. It would have looked nice if it was leather, but that's all we get. And then the snake skin is satin, so it kind of throws it off. I think it would have looked good if it was fake snake skin, but just my opinion, the satin sneakers, I'm not really good with that trend. I'm not really feeling that, but that's what we're getting. I do like the color scheme though. I do like the color scheme. Those are dropping in August. We get those in August and they're going for 170. So like a regular Air Jordan 1, the Air Jordan 1 snake skin satin. So you can grab those up. Don't think they're gonna sell out, I mean, I don't think too many people are going crazy over the satin Jordans, so should be an easy grab. And I don't think there'll be a special box anyway, but you never know. 
the way things are going. So just be ready just in case. Now, what am I feeling out of all of these? Uh, I do like the Air Max 90 and 7s. Also, I do like the, the black and white Air Max 95s, plain Air Max. Like I said, the sand snakes, if it would have been leather, that would have been something nice. But that sand material, I'm not really feeling that. So that can stay on the shelf for me. And that's about it. As always, it's your boy Uptown Nick. Thanks for everybody who's been commenting, subscribing, watching. And if you're new to the channel, come hang out with your boy. Click the bell. Subscribe. What else is there to do? Nothing. So might as well. Come hang out. And that's about it. I will be coming soon with some other stuff. A couple of Air Jordans on the list that are still coming out. And um, a couple more things on the horizon. So as always, it's your boy Uptown Nick. And I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah.